My sister hates it when I do that. Slurp my Slurping? Tea. Yeah. Ryan hates it when I eat food and go, mmm, <laughs> which I do all the time. Was well, it because you you continuously do it? Because I go, no, I just usually just do it like the first time I eat something, I go, mmm, that's it. So he hates that. I can see that. I guess if it happened repeatedly. There's actually a, oh, who is it, Curb Your Enthusiasm skit about that. The, um, the wife, uh, his, not, not Larry David, but his friends, his best friend slash manager's wife, right. she right. does something like that, and it drives Larry crazy, of course. It's funny. It's funny the things. Like, you know what drives me crazy about uh, when, I, when I make dinner? What? I grew up in a household. This is totally unreasonable on my part. Let me preface this. Okay. I grew up in a household where when dinner was put on the table, you came and you sat down. Uh-huh. There, was no, there was no waiting around. Like, if you hadn't washed your hands, you went and did that. But otherwise, right. food's hot. We're eating right now. Mm -hmm. So when I, when I make dinner and I, like, get the food out, I'm like, okay, it's ready. And Eileen's like, okay. <laughs> and honestly, it doesn't ever take her more than, like, two minutes right. to come over. But, like, just that, that childhood upbringing of, like, no, you must jump up right away when the yeah. food is ready. This is turning into a kvetching about significant others tea time. It is. Well, it's tea time. It's just, all I have, I don't, I didn't know I was going to be joining tea time, so all I have is a mostly drunken um, glass of, of fiber, of primal a fiber. Fiber tea. Fiber tea. Yeah. You could. Um, like, it's disgusting, but I drink it every day. Uh, Aaron Dan Darnell actually submitted us a question. Okay. Uh, well, when will, he says, when will you get a doge address so I can tip, and then he says, dad ass. Like tip dad ass, dad ass. Um, ooh, a doge, maybe I should, get, I should get a Bitcoin address, too, although Bitcoin is something. Art. Yeah. I don't know about this doge coin. I like the idea, I know it's been, it's a actual currency, and what? why not, uh, but it still frightens me. Uh, thank you, Aplex, who just became a Patreon backer. My dogs are saluting you. They, they salute you. They're screaming your name in dog in Doge. <laughs> I've got a Doge in the background, too. I don't know if you can see. I got a sleeping Doge. Let sleeping Doges lie. She is passed out. Your Doge is much calmer than my two Doges. They're going crazy out there. Because she's awesome. She's the best. Not that your dogs aren't the best, too, but she's... Oh, can we talk about my cyst? <laughs> Not was I, I was expecting you to say, no. Oh, you had a question first. Do that first. No, I did the question. That was it. When oh. I, I don't know when I'm going to get a Dogecoin address, but I'll get on it. Okay, so I have a... Um, oh, crap. What's the name of it? It's a... Um, oh, I just had the name... Well, while you, while you try to remember the name, uh, Vance would like to compliment you on finally cleaning up your office. What are you talking about? It's filthy. I have done nothing. It's, it's a disgusting, horrifying mess. Look at this. Look at Ryan's desk. This is... Uh-oh. Look now at that desk. Now it's true office exposure. How am I supposed to live with that? And then this is my side, which is like a living nightmare. Hold on. Oh, that's the wrong side. I'm going to show is the ground. It's just like... What is all that stuff? I have to, so I've mentioned this before, but we're cleaning the house out. We're getting rid of stuff that we don't need anymore. And so everything that has been moved has been moved from one room into the office. And you're gross, DB09. Anyway, what did DB09 say? said I'm uh, gross. Okay. I'm explaining why it is the way it is. The rest of the house is spotless and totally clutter-free, and everything has gone into the office. So right. that's why well, we're in. Let's get back uh, to the important matter at hand. Suzanne wants to know: Is it a fatty necrosis? No, it's a ganglion cyst. Um, it is a ganglion cyst, which is a uh, very typical in women, um, especially on top of the wrist. It can it can show up in other parts of the. Oh, it's a wrist cyst. It's a wrist cyst. Yeah, um, and so it's it's hanging out. You can't really see it because it's kind of small. Um, I wear I wear protective tape, uh, rock tape. Is that the is that the stuff the Olympians all wear? Yeah, it's so can I, so I can play tennis and stuff, and it kind of supports the wrist I a little bit. That's so I don't have to. That's scientifically bogus. Like it doesn't really do anything. No, it feels great. It makes my really? wrist feel okay. a lot better. Yeah, 
Um, I don't know how it works or what it, it's supposed to, what it does is that actually lifts the skin off the muscles and tendons and that's supposed to increase blood flow to the area. All right. So there's anyway, science. Okay. There's okay. a little bit of science there. Um, but yes, yeah, so they're going to have to, if, if all my fixing stuff, if all my stretches and arm exercises don't work, they have to stick a needle into the top and, and, and suck out all the fluid. Ooh. And if that doesn't work, then they have to go in surgically, pull it out, and then even then it might still come back. So I'll probably just have it for the rest of my life. The, the sad thing is that this isn't the weirdest thing that's ever happened to you. No, of course it's not the weirdest thing that ever happened to me. <laughs> uh, Vance, by the way, said he was just being snarky, and, that, and you're still in the one-year moving excuse period. Oh, yeah. We're not, well, yeah, we're trying to move out, which is why we're cleaning right. all, everything out of the house. Um, so we'll see. So Susan, fortunately, I'm not right-handed, so it only affects my backhand and mousing, which I do every day. Is it on your nerve? Suzanne wants to know if it's on your nerve. Um, no, it's, well, kind of. So if I push down on it, it hurts a lot. And if I, I can't do any exercise, so I'm doing like a ton of, you know, like, like training right now. And so whenever I do anything that hyperextends my wrist, like if I'm doing planks or if I'm doing anything in yoga or if I'm doing anything like on the physio ball or anything that's kind of intensive and like doing that um, it hurts like a mother so I have to stop doing all of those things until it gets better gotcha yeah Aplex wants to know where I'm putting all that stuff um, a lot of it I donate we donate about 90% of it and then maybe 10% of it um, that's not like review units or things like that we sell or give away so yeah, the answer to what are you going to do with all that junk is mostly donate. Mostly donate, yeah. But if people want stuff, I feel like I need to have some kind of like geek tag sale, like yard sale, but then I have to tell people where I live, which is kind of scary. Yeah, I should borrow somebody's house. Yeah, or like do like a, I don't know. Could you do it at Mission Dolores? <sighs> no, you need a permit for that no. kind of thing. So. And doesn't the church sometimes do like rummage sale things where they invite people to come and set up tables and stuff? Maybe. Uh, I don't know, even know where any churches. Well, Mission Dolores is. Oh, yeah, maybe. That would be cool. But I, if I just had a way of like, I have so many boxes, like if I just had a way that I didn't have to pay for shipping and if someone could just take the stuff away from me, I would just send it out to all you guys. I don't care. Like as long as, if I didn't have to do any of the work... Like, I don't mind boxing it up, but if I didn't have to do any of the work, I could just, like, get rid of yeah. it. Yeah. The, uh, so, um, oh, Jim Brown. Where cool. are you getting these questions from? From the Q&A app. Oh, okay. Uh, hang up. Uh, cool surgery videos coming up. Oh, totes, yeah. If you guys want to see that live, I will definitely at least videotape that. That is going to be the newest DiamondClub.tv feature. will be live streaming surgery. Live streaming surgery. Nice. <laughs> I'm trying to answer a question for John Jackson, who says, where's episode six spoiler in time? Good question, John Jackson. I don't know. Uh, the Patreons got it. Uh, it already went out to the Patreon folks. I don't know why it hasn't showed up in the feeds. I will have to ask someone about that. Hmm. But uh, thanks for the nudge. I'll take a look at that. Oh, and Suzanne doesn't want a surgery video. Is this Suzanne... Lewis. It is? Oh. Suzanne Lewis. Different Suzanne. Okay. In so my mind, I was just hearing Suzanne from Pixel Core. Oh, no, it's not that. Not our, uh, not our producer, Suzanne. Okay. Yes, uh, Commander... Wait, what are going to do with all that junk? Commander Marks is saying in chat, um, he had... I had one, some called it a Bible bump, because you would, well, never mind. No, that's exactly what you would do with it. Back in the old days, if you had one of these cysts, they would take a Bible and flap it on the top until the fluid went away and the cyst went down. With a Bible, because it was a big, heavy the book? The biggest book they could find, yes. Yeah, so they go, whack, oh. whack. So, and then, you know, the healing powers would also help. Of the Lord. Right. Um, yes, exactly. Uh, Cigar says, what are you most looking forward to next month? I'm look, Next month, I'm, I'm looking forward to South by Southwest. Ooh. Because we're planning a little something-something. Yeah, I'm about 90% going. 90% going? Okay, I was afraid you were going to say not going. I haven't heard otherwise. I'm supposed right. to be shooting a thing, but I haven't heard for sure if the thing is happening, and so we we put out a call yesterday to be like, are we shooting this thing or are we not shooting this thing? And we still haven't heard back, so 
if I'm not shooting the thing, then I will definitely be there. I have a feeling because it's coming up so quickly that um, I probably will be going to South by. So that'll be fun. Yeah, I'm, I, I booked my flight. Uh, I get in late Friday, and I'll be there all day Saturday. So there'll be a thing on Saturday. More details to come. Uh, and then I'll be there most of the day on Sunday. Then I'm headed back. Uh-oh, I think I'm flying back on Saturday. No! Crud. No, 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 no. I better That's tell wrong. him. <laughs> well, I didn't think I was going to be staying for anything. I just thought I was flying in and out for the panel you, I'm supposed to be doing. Can you change it, though? Uh, it's United, so I'll have to pay $200, mm. um, which would stink. Yeah, I'm coming back on the 9th, which is Saturday. What time? Early. Well, yeah, I'm leaving. Is the 9th Saturday? I'm pretty sure it is. All right. Well, I'm going to take some Patreon money and make you stay. <laughs> no, wait. No, the 9th is Sunday. I'm good. Oh, the 9th is Sunday. Okay, we're good. Yay. Cool. Excellent. Eight. Ooh, Dave. DJM, who I only recognize by avatar is uh, and name because uh, he didn't put DJM in Google Hangouts. David, can you do a remote show from Spring Training Camp, Arizona or Florida? I can't. <laughs> but we do a maybe show? next year we should do a we should do a spring training show next year. That'd be fun. Yeah, Giant Spring Training is over. Um, mostly they're still down there though. They're doing a live stream. Um, it's not over. I thought it was over-ish. Isn't it coming to an end? No, it just got started. Pictures oh, of it did? I thought it. it started on the 20... Oh. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Okay. But anyway, they're doing a live stream from Arizona um, tomorrow morning, I think, from 9 to 1. Um, so keep an eye on the Giants. Um, if you're a Giants fan, uh, the Giants social media stuff, they're doing something tomorrow. Cigar would like to know where... Can we follow both of you on Facebook, Twitter, and Google Plus? I think Cigar is hosting the show now, and he's saying goodbye. Oh, that's what well. You say at the end of a show, hey, where can we follow both of you? <laughs> Tom, you first. Uh, well, on Facebook, I'm Facebook.com/slash/TomMerritt, but it's I don't really do a lot there, so you could follow it, but you're not going to find much going on. Twitter is Ace Detect, A C E D T E C T, and Google Plus. I'm uh, Tom Merritt. I am at Veronica on Twitter. I'm Veronica Belmont on Facebook, or you can follow Veronica too. That's my personal account. Um, no, it's the other way around. It's the other way around. My fan page is Veronica, and my personal account is Veronica Belmont. And then on Google Plus, I'm Veronica Belmont. I don't remember. Just search for Veronica Belmont. 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 Um, uh, so Suzanne clarifies. She says, I don't care about a surgery video. I don't want her giving stuff to creepy guys. I worry one of these gals or Felicia Day will end up in a trunk in Indonesia. Oh, my God. <laughs> don't okay, end up in fair enough. In Indonesia. Here, I can represent stuff. I haven't broken this hat in very well. I have a different hat that I usually wear to games. Now we're going to do that. Okay. Um, I just bought a new fleece yesterday, a new Giants fleece. It is arriving next week. Very excited. Very good. Very excited. I'm buying my tickets, my tickies. For, your, oh, your, your, your tickets for the season? Yeah, preseason ticket stuff. Nice. Tom, some, I'm just going to say Tom. Sorry. Will you be doing anything special at Dragon Con Atlanta this year? Yeah. Well, we don't have anything specific planned for Sword and Laser yet. I was going to say, everything we do will be special. Oh, sorry. K Shep is saying flat is cool now. Sorry. Oh, sorry. yeah. No, I'm sure I'm sure. That looks, that looks dumb, though. It looks dumb. That's gangsta, isn't it? Well, but not. I'm supposed to have the stickers on still. I don't have those. There's a great, an amazing Key and Peel sketch, 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 sketch about... um. Gotcha. About keeping, trying to one-up the newness of your hat, like, first, like, oh, it's so good. Someone should put the link to that in the show notes. I don't feel like Googling it. But it's really funny. They know what I'm talking about. That is the funniest show on television, by the way. Key what and Peel. If you're not watching Key and Peel, you need to go back and watch every season. Like, all their skits are on YouTube. It is the funniest show ever. What channel is it on? 
Comedy Central. Can you it's get it? Even, on it's iTunes? funnier than Archer in a different way. Oh. And that's coming from me. Whoa. Well, how do you spell it? K e uh, k e y and p e e l e. It's is it animated? No. No. Okay. It's real. It's sketch comedy. Yeah, and they're hilarious. Yeah. He, uh, Tavatar Tamur. T totally butchered it. Sorry, man. Uh, DTN SXSW. Get it? DTNS. S -S -S hey, Suzanne says I enjoy mm -hmm. your book reviews. Will you be doing anything like that in the future? Do you do what? I just got a text. I enjoyed your book reviews. Oh. Did you do book reviews? Oh, is she talking to me? I don't know. I haven't really done book reviews. Um, I, I, I do write book reviews on Goodreads um, fairly regularly. It's been a while. I read yeah, I, so I, many I books, I just don't have time. I do that too. <laughs> the irony. Suzanne Archer, says nobody is funnier than Archer. Archer is amazing. I, Archer is like my favorite show, but Key and Peele are, I think, are consistently make me like laugh cry more. That's an important yeah. distinction. All right, I'll have to check it out. I wonder if it's available like for cord cutters, like iTunes or something. Dude, what am I gonna do about? You must have had. A, did you do cord cutters today? No, I did it Monday. Okay, so, so Monday's show is gonna be a nightmare, it's huh? Gonna be all Comcast Time Warner, yeah. Wow, that is crazy. Like I want to, so, but I still have to get my internet from Comcast. So for me, it's like, who do you get your internet from? Verizon. Fios. Mm. Anyway. Yeah, I know. Lame. Um, maybe Google will give you internet. In Bay Area, that'd be amazing, but... They, they won't. Joe wants to know if the sponsors for Cord Killers or Daily Tech News Show are still a secret. Uh, uh, no, they're not. There aren't any. <laughs> <laughs> Secret's out. Oh, Kean Peel did an epic rap battles of history. Chat room showed me, but it's um, and they had the guys from Epic Rap, Rap Battles on Key and Peel also, so I think that makes good sense. Jackie Jackie Hearn wants to know. Speaking of sketch, what is your favorite sketch comedy show of all time? Go. Key and Peel. Really? No. Okay. Um. Probably. Uh. I would say either Kids in the Hall. Probably Kids in the Hall. I I I have to say Monty Python. I feel like that's a cop out though because you have to say what? Monty Python. Oh, okay. They're in a class all by themselves. Yeah. Not that they invented sketch comedy, but they reinvented it. Mm -hmm. like, no, I love I love Monty Python. Kids in the Hall is amazing too. What? Which one? Kids in the Hall. Kids in the Hall is pretty amazing. Yeah. Saturday Night Live, at certain points in history, had some brilliance. Kids in the Halls, amazing. Monty Python. What was, I'm having a brain fart. I can't remember what the sketch comedy group was that predated Stella with, like, Michael Ian Black and all the White Hot American Summer guys. I can't remember what sketch comedy. Shoot, and I, this was, like, one of my big-time favorites, too. Really? Yeah. Why, I, why isn't that ringing a bell? Oh, come on. I'm going to Google it now. It's going to drive Living me Color. No! Well, that's a great show, too. I'm just thinking of sketch comedy shows. That's all. Let's see. Oh, The State. The State. Oh, The State. I forgot about The, the State. The State is... Um, I love The State. Yeah. Um, and there's Mr. Show. That's fantastic. Yeah, Mr. Show. I like Mr. Show. Classic. Yeah, now everyone's saying the state because they're catching up to the stream. Right, right. <laughs> SCTV. SNL. I, I, I've always enjoyed SNL, but it's yeah. not... I don't watch it religiously. It has okay. moments of brilliance, but it's hard to say SNL because it encompasses such a long stretch of varying quality. Mm -hmm. That's true. What's the next question? Uh, Richard says, do you guys think of Google, what do you guys think of Google Hangouts? Awesome replacement for podcasts? I don't think it's a replacement. I think it's a good addition to podcasts. Richard? No, I'm just kidding. Um, I, yeah, I don't think it's a replacement. I think it's supplementary. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
Because we still put out, on Sword and Laser, we still put out all of our Hangouts as podcasts, too. And likewise for, for Daily Tech News. <laughs> Excuse me. Bless you. <laughs> and again. It's all although, the dust in here in my hoarder office. <laughs> the YouTube uh, posting has been slower lately. Has it? Because it was uh, bad at the beginning, and now for me it's better. It's gotten uh, better. Maybe it probably just depends on the time of day and the way the wind's blowing. Yeah. Because I I'm just now finally got the downloadable version of the video out of YouTube, just now. Of course, I wasn't checking for the past 20 minutes, so it could have come any time then. But oh, for a show you did earlier? Yeah, for the show I did at 1:30 with Bob uh -huh. Eisinger. So I had the audio up already, and I had the YouTube embeddable up already, because that's that's amazing. It's available instantly. Yeah. The downloadable version that I pull out of YouTube, and then put in the archive.org has been taking a long time. And I used to rely on that, like we do for Sword and Laser, to be the audio version as well, which mm -hmm. meant it took forever. Yeah. Ooh, Lilo Lai says uh, Key and Peel Seasons 1 and 2 are on Amazon Prime. Right first. on. Watch that. Watch it. Watch it. Jackie Hoon says, thanks for answering, because both you and Ace Detect you, Ace Detect and Veronica are hilarious comedians, whether you like it or not. <laughs> thanks. Oh. I'm not funny. No. Or not. Nah. I mean, Veronica is sometimes. But sometimes. Funny looking. I'm funny. That's what I was going to say about myself. Oh. Uh, I like it. It's so funny. Just see if they've got my preset yet. I don't know. What, what am I going to do about the stream? Crush your head. Was my hair messed up? No. That's crush funny. your head. Kids in the hall. Oh, crush, I crush I, your head. I crush it. I took that from Suzanne. I crush it. Oh. <sighs> Well, I guess I don't know what to do. Well, I do. I'm going to go buy dog food. <laughs> Is that not the answer uh, you're looking for? That's not the answer I'm looking for, and I've got 50 minutes to figure it out. Uh, well, wait, so your Twitch isn't working? No, my Twitch is working fine, but we don't have a, a configuration for Twitch yet Oh. on the admin page. And you guys were talking about XSplit and stuff. Yeah, it, XSplit's fine. That has nothing to do with what yeah. I'm talking about. It's all on the Diamond Club stuff. Oh, I get it. So it can't go on DiamondClub.tv. You can just do it as a test, even though even though it won't go right to DiamondClub.tv yet. I wonder if well, there's another way to mirror it. I don't know. I don't know if the stream configuration will work for the... If I do the um, Justin TV setting configuration, I wonder if it'll... I don't. I think oh, they're different the websites. Same, right. It's the same platform. Same platform, but I don't know if the location right. IDs will work the same. Right. It might. It. It's not guaranteed to work though. Right. And I used to have a Justin TV account, and now it's missing. Missing. It doesn't that? like exist. It, like they deleted me or something. Oh, like the name is still there. Are they allowed to do that? Maybe. They probably sent out an email at some point you missed that was like, hey, if you're not using your site, we're going to delete yeah. you. But then they reserve the, the name. That's weird. You should be able to recover it somehow, you know? I can, but not in time. Oh, right. Gotcha. So. All right. Uh, well... Lightning questions. Yes, excited about House of Cards. Uh, favorite novel is Man in the High Castle. Favorite TV show right now is Archer. Uh, I like Living Color, too. Ooh, that, that's right. You're also Fire Dog. And, yes, Daily Tech News show someday on Roku. I just don't know when. Boom. What's your favorite novel? Are you asking me? Yeah, that's why I was pointing. Uh, oh, I'm yeah. sorry. Say it again. What's your favorite novel? My favorite novel is, oh, God, I don't know. That's a really hard question because I read so much. Um... But you don't have, like, an all-time favorite novel? No. Okay. I don't think I do. Fair enough. Yeah. Well, with that, we're going to stop the broadcast. With that okay. disappointing answer... Sorry! I don't, I'm trying to figure out this just... In, I'm panicking because right, I have yeah, to go no, live she's gotta soon. Go, she's got to go do stuff for, for the things. So leave her alone, me. And I... Yeah.
<laughs> I will, uh, hey, thanks for hanging oh, out. Oh, T2T2 says Justin TV removed all the accounts that were moved over to Twitch. Oh, well, there you go. That's crappy. That must be what happened. All right, whatever. All right. Bye, everybody. Bye.